All right, we're back with Coach Fraser. We'll kick it off his, his, his initial reaction to tonight's game, then go to questions. Um, a little bit disappointing to not create as many chances as we would like to have. Uh, Toronto did a good job of getting a lot of numbers behind the ball, making it difficult to penetrate them. But um, it's certainly, if that's what the team does, it's our job to find ways to break them down. And uh, we didn't. We probably weren't as sharp in the attacking end as we needed to be. And at the end of the day, it became a real dogfight. And um, credit to them, they, they did a good job of making it difficult for us. And while we had a few good moments, probably not as many good moments as we would like to have had. All right, we'll go to questions. Matt Pollard, last word on soccer. Robin, thanks for the time. Uh, Jefferson Soteldo was their big danger man for most of the night. Your thoughts on how the team did defending against him, particularly how Danny did 1v1. Thank you. Yeah, for the most part, I thought we did fine with him. He was able to drop back and find some pockets of space and was able to get himself heading in the direction of the goal. But I um, uh, felt like we did a decent job in containing him so that he had to settle for some shots from outside. Uh, I thought the whole group did, did OK. Uh, it's another shutout, so we're certainly quite happy with that. And Danny did well. Hello, Brian Jennings, Burgundy Wave. Hey, thanks, Rob. I'm sorry about the fireworks back here. But no, no. Um, early on, it, it, there, were, there was quite a few balls maybe coming in, but it was tough for guys to kind of turn on them and, and you know, face up to goal, that type of thing. Jack even mentioned maybe a little bit of I don't know, impatient type of uh, thinking. How do you see the, the, the play building up, I guess, to start with, but then move on as the game went through? Thank you. I think uh, every team that comes in or every team that we play against plays slightly differently, and it takes a few minutes to figure out where we're going to be able to uh, potentially exploit some mismatches or find some space. And uh, I thought they did a good job of making it difficult for our guys up front to, as you said, turn and, and, um, and, and find space to be dangerous. But in the moments when we were uh, able to move the ball pretty quickly, we were able to find a little bit more time. And out of those, we were able to create a couple of half chances. So uh, for me, the story of the day really is that we have to be able to move the ball quicker, especially against a team that comes in and sets a lot, uh, sits a lot of numbers deep behind the ball. Um, again, I would never, ever criticize the way another team plays. Whatever another team does, it's our job to figure out how to, how to beat them and how to uh, still find some advantages, regardless of, of how difficult they make it for us. Go back to Matt. Robin asked you on Sunday about you know the streak of draws, and you were encouraged by some of the performances. Disappointed to an extent, maybe in the number of points that you hadn't picked up. How are you feeling now after this game of fourth draw in a row, a decent performance, but again, you know some uh, points left on the board. Yeah, we definitely feel like throughout this home stretch, we we wanted to pick up more points. Uh, Wednesday is another day, and we have an opportunity to do that then. Um, but certainly, we we come away feeling a little disappointed in that. Uh, certainly throughout some of the prior games, we created more than enough chances to win. Um, tonight, we probably weren't quite as sharp as, as we have been. And uh, at the end of the day, regardless of what's happened, we pick up a point, we, um, we continue to learn lessons and start to, not start to, but continue to try to refine the ways that we're going to get at these teams that end up sitting in deep. I'm going to Chase Howell, Denver Post. Hi, Robin. If you were to point to one thing that you guys have not done well over the last four games, what would it be? Uh, I would say it's not the same over the last four games. I thought in the last four games we created enough chances to win. Um, and also, we made enough mistakes to lose points, meaning there's generally one or two mistakes that led to something that led to the game being tied. So I think tonight was very different. We didn't, uh, 
we didn't concede anything. We didn't really concede many dangerous opportunities. So in that sense, it's different than it was in the last couple of games. And we probably didn't create as much as, much as we did in the last couple of games. So there's no one thing over the four games. Each game has something that was slightly different, things that we could be a little bit better at. Go back to Brian. It, Robin, just one, I'm sorry, one more touch on tonight, I guess. Um, you know, credit to you guys on the, on the staff. I mean, you didn't sit back and, and uh, just take it. it. You know, plenty of subs coming on, plenty of attackers. How'd you feel the guys did coming on in that second half uh, with what you wanted to see from them? Thanks. Um, again, I think there were some moments that were pretty dangerous, but overall, we didn't. We didn't have as much of an impact as we would like to have had uh, when we made the changes and, and became uh, very front heavy at that point. Um, I thought Brian Galvan gave us uh, some, some interesting looks and uh, put in a great ball for the one where Diego and Baji, <clears throat> between the two of them, uh, certainly had a good opportunity uh, we were able to get a couple of half chances, but not really um, anything that was a solid, clear-cut opportunity. Go back to Chase. Uh, was there any particular reason why Cole Bassett wasn't in the 18 today? I did not see him on the injury report. Uh, no, we just have a lot of games and uh, rest guys and uh, that's really it. We feel like we have a pretty talented team, so we can afford to um, find opportunities for guys to take rests. 